Hey guys, I'm Amrad and today I will show you how to set up your model viewer and how to use it. What is it good for? Now you can find model viewer in my tutorial pack in uh, other directory is both model viewer and I'm using this version. It's quite an old version, but it works just fine and I have found it uh, crashing less often than, uh, for example, Pandaria version. Legion version won't even work for a Breath of the Witch King, so you need to use either of those two. And I have found this uh, more stable for Breath of the Witch King with retroported models and with custom models and so on and so forth. So how to set up it? Well, first of all, you need to go to your user settings and open this config file. And uh, Normally there would be some, well, I will show you just what I mean. Normally there would be uh, some paths to your MPQ files. Uh, you don't want them there. So if you want, uh, if you have this, uh, this list here, MPQ files and something, delete it. This is the first step. Uh, the second step is making this path, this path correct. Uh, so you need uh, to enter your path to your data folder with your MPQs and with your locate folder. Uh, so I am using uh, this this tutorial project. I created a project tutorial and I will use this project for you for all my tutorials, basically. So I will use this data folder here. So I will provide path to it. Notice that there are backslashes and that there are backslashes even behind path. So I will re-enter them there. And now we should be good to go. So save it. And let's try to run model viewer. And it runs as you can see. So when we go to options and settings, you can get a list of files which are being used by model viewer and you can see that there is patch 3 here but patch b if you miss it it isn't here in this whole list why because patch b is a custom patch it is my custom mpq archive with my modified custom files and that's quite a problem because now when it is uh, when it is missing here i can't uh, display my custom models and my custom stuff notice that here is Word custom and these are my custom files I have created and these palisade models are clear here but when I enter palisade here into search uh, window I don't get any results so how to deal with this you need to uh, connect model viewer to your uh, custom MPQs by hand so go to options settings and now you need to click here on add and you need to search for your custom MPQs. Now it is here, page B, and you would need to enter by hand all uh, MPQs here, like this. So you would create a whole list of your custom MPQs, add it to this list, and just to just make sure that it is in order. So you can see common, common two, expansion, Lich King, patch, patch two, patch three, and then would be page 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, page A, B, C, D, and so on. So uh, it would uh, be in correct order and the model viewer would load them in correct order in the same order as a game client or Nogit does or do. It's quite an important. So now when I restart my model viewer and enter Palisade into this uh, search window and press enter, I will get my custom models here. So great, this works now. Okay, so what next? Well, sometimes or all the time <laughs> actually, you need to get files of those models. You want to modify those models, you want to change their textures, you want to mod. You might want to search even for some blaze like models, let's say some tree. There are huge numbers of trees around. And uh, let's say that you would like to change textures of this model. So how to do that? Well, you need to go to file and export textures. And uh, now you can either choose 
any file which is used by this module, you can see that even skin files are here and abdu file is here. So you can select any file and click on export. And now you will get just that one file. However, it isn't in path in which it is supposed to be. So let's click on path preserved, export, and now we get our word folder, azeroth, burning steps, passive reads, trees, and here is a texture. So this is this here now is a path in which uh, this file is supposed to be in MPQ. So if you want to modify it, uh, you need to open this BLP in uh, Photoshop by using BLP uh, plugin, or you can convert it to PNG and uh, edit that PNG file and then convert it back to PLP. And you need to uh, insert that modified PLP into your custom page. So then you would do, I can't do it now, then you would just insert it like this there when it's modified by you. So that's how to modify something and how to export it. Another thing I would like to point out is that Model Viewer can export even more things at once. Uh, you can go to export textures. Uh, let's choose path preserved and export all. Now it would, it should export everything. So you can see word custom and here is my M2 file and my skin file. So my model is here. And you can see expansion 5 directory and here is this like texture I have used to create this model. So it has exported pretty much all files this model uses. As you can see there, are, there is three of them and it has exported all of them. You can also use export all to PNG and this will export only textures and only in PNG. You can also use export auto TGA and it will do the same but with TGA. So yeah, these are ways of getting all kinds of files from your model. What about WMOs? Well, you can show the, uh, you can display WMOs in Model Viewer as well. Uh, I recommend you to enter the uh, name of model you are searching for, for example, farm here, and then switch this down here to WMOs. Because now it will just start uh, searching for farm WMOs and it won't... Uh, I can uh, leave this just blank and I will switch to models and now it is opening all models in patches and that's just and that can be a little bit slow sometimes especially if you have uh, multiple custom patches and so on and so forth so we would like to for example export this uh, farm model as you can see when we get to WMO we can change these due date sets here so these are due date sets of WMO and let's say that you would like to change something here so again, you can go to export all and we will get, for example, word generate and here you can see do, uh, some textures used by doodads and some doodads should be here around as well, for example, here, yeah. Um, when we take a look into dungeons folder, here are mainly textures used by WMO itself, so if you want to change uh, roof or walls, it is most likely that uh, those textures will be in dungeons folders. Uh, however, what it fails to export is WMO file itself, it should be invert, WMO, uh, buildings, I think, yeah, or, and or strat farm. It isn't here. Export word and no WMO folder. It hasn't exported WMO itself. And I honestly don't know how to make at least this version of Model Viewer export WMO model itself. Uh, but the way of doing this is certainly opening MPQ editor, open MPQ use of options. I have shown you this in advanced MPQ editor tutorial. And now we will open all our MPQs 
in merge mode. And, uh, this has opened all MPQs at once in merge mode in read only. And now we can go to Word, WMO, Buildings, and here is our hosted file model. So I will just select the root file and uh, both group files, interior and exterior in this case, and I will just enter export folder here, and it has exported my WMO files here as well. All those files here are in structure in which they are in patch, so I don't worry about that. I don't have to worry about that, I want to say. So this is the way of exporting stuff from a model viewer and from uh, MPQs. And by doing this, you will get stuff and you can modify it, change it, whatever you like. Uh, another thing is that you can get models in uh, 3D formats which are supported by Maya, Blender and so on. So how to do it? I'll say this model. Uh, by the way, if your model turns suddenly uh, somewhat dark, you can go to lighting and use ambient only. Here we are. Uh, so, how to export this into Blender, let's say? Well, go to File, Export Model, and now Wavefront Object. And here we are, we will just select... The fuck is the point here? Uh, you just select some folder and that's all. So now we've got a TGA file of texture and we've got our MTL, material file and object file. So that's the way of exporting stuff to object. You can, use, you can do the same with WMO, however it will export only WMO without due dead sets. If you want to change, change WMO, you need to use Blender WMO plugin and uh, modify WMO itself. But if you want to change m you need to export them into object, modify them as objects and then export those, uh, import those objects back into World of Warcraft by converting them to m uh, another thing to note is that you can also create characters here. Here is character folder and here you can see all uh, character races. There are even races which are playable, for example Tanka or Tuskar. And you can open any model here and now we've got a character. So let's toy around with him a little bit. Uh, so when we open a character, notice that the, here is a new panel and you can use this skin color to change skin color, face type, face type, hair color, hair style and facial feature. Uh, you can also change, uh, change character's equipment here, so we will open chest and place some chest item on it. We can outfit our character and uh, we can also test items here. We can take a look what do items look like. The only thing is that uh, model viewer isn't connected to the server database and uh, game client doesn't contain item names. So someone or some of you might wonder where is model viewer getting these uh, item names from? And it's quite important to know this because it's here in any US folder. Here is items CSV. When you open it, you will get a list of IDs of items. Uh, the second number is just a quality, so rare, uncommon, and so on. So it's basically just a just a color of item's name and then item's name. So but this file is being used by model viewer and it is showing uh, it is uh, storing data which model viewer uh, can't obtain from mpqs why is it so important because if you if you rename any items on your server or if you create new items and so on model viewer won't be, won't be able to know about these changes it won't know your new custom items it won't rename your named items and so on. So how to do this? 
uh, you need to either edit this item CSV as well by hand, or you, know, you need to generate a new item CSV file based on your item template table. I will show you how to do that in another tutorial. Uh, just to let you know that this is here, and here is also NPC CSV, and that has similar purpose, basically. So yeah, when we've got our character, uh, we can go to export folder, or I use export folder. We can uh, save our character by using F7, or load saved character by using F8. So let's just save this. And notice that it has saved our model and uh, race and, uh, and gender and uh, visual settings and items. So by doing this, we can save our characters, we can load them back. And this can be useful for one tool I have coded. Again, I will show you that tool in the dedicated tutorial. Uh, you will need to use this uh, for creating NPCs out of character models. Uh, another thing is that you can go to File, Export Model, X3D. And by doing this, uh, you can get a texture of your character with items on it already applied. So by doing this, you will get merge texture, which can be used for creating NPC. Another quite important thing. And the last thing, you can also go to File, Export Textures, and Export All. And now you would get uh, not just character textures here. Or let's export it to PNG, so we've got icons. So now we've got our character textures, all which were used, but uh, we've got also item textures. As you can see, here we've got this texture of this part of this sleeve from this armor. Uh, so this is the way of getting textures of your items. And again, you can modify those textures, you can change them, you can uh, add them into your custom MPQ later. And by doing this, you will change textures of some basic items. Or you can uh, just use this system uh, for an inspiration, create a new item, and then get it into World of Warcraft. That's possible as well. And so I think that this has covered up pretty much all. Yeah, uh, load background, or in general, background color. Uh, what I would suggest you to use is some sort of this blue. Don't use a white background. Just uh, make always sure that you don't have a white background. Why? Because if you open any model without texture, it will be white as well and you won't see your thing, basically. And I think that this uh, is really pretty much all. <laughs> there isn't much more to know about Model Viewer. So a great tool for exporting stuff from World of Warcraft. Then you can modify it and uh, put that modified version into your MPQ, and by doing this, you can modify any blizz like stuff, or you can use this for getting whatever you want, just for another for for another purposes. For example, if you want to make some animations and so on. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. I hope this was useful for you. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching, and happy modding.